In this video, we're going to learn about six Lama 2 derivative models. What are we talking about six Lama 2 derivative models? The first one is the Aeroboros model. The second one is from News Research, a News Hermes model. And the third one is a Redmond Puffin model, again from News Research. And the fourth one is a Wizard LM model. The fifth one is Luna AI's Lama 2 uncensored model. And the final one, also the topper of the leaderboard is Stable Beluga 2 from Stability AI. We're going to dive deep into each of this model and understand when you should use, when you should not use and what kind of advantages you have got. Before we dive into all these things, let's take a step back and understand that since Llama 2 was launched by Meta AI, a lot of models have been created by, you know, model fine tuners and people who create model as a derivative model from Llama 2. So they use Llama 2 as the base model and they use the existing data set or the fine tuned instruction data set that they've got and then release the new model. This is why I've got Llama 2 in the name. So what is the advantage of this? Because you've got a very powerful base model, like let's say Llama 2 in this case, Llama 2 helps these models rank really top like in the open source leaderboard. For example, if you see the open source leaderboard, Stable Beluga 2 at the top with an average score of 71.4 is based on Llama 2. Aeroboros is based on Llama 2. The Guanaka one is based on Llama 2. So you can see that how a base model, like a powerful base model helps these fine tuned models to rank at the top. And that's why we are seeing these individual models so that you can play with these models and realize or understand if this is the model that you want to use and in what case you need to first use it. To start with, we're going to start with the Aeroboros L270 GB GPT-4 1.41. So this is a model that is a Llama 2 based fine tuning. This is based on Llama 2 70 billion parameter model. And you can see the model card and information and data set, whatever they've used. The biggest catch in this model is the license. For example, this model uses Meta AI's Llama 2 license, which is of course obvious. But also it has a very strange clause because this model has used GPT-4 data. So the terms of services of OpenAI API usage has a clause that prevents the output of GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 from being used to train a model that competes with OpenAI. But now nobody knows what is the definition of competing with OpenAI. So I would say that honestly, like this is a strange, um, it's, a, it's a strange predicament that you are in. So if you want to use for a commercial purpose, I would avoid this model. But if you are trying to use it for anything else, I think this is a model that is worth trying it out, especially given that this is a 70 billion parameter fine tuning. So definitely check this out. Kudos to the team that is put out. So then the next one is the newest Hermes Llama 2 model. And newest Hermes has always been one of the most reliable, um, trustworthy models that we have seen that that is quite good. And this model as every other newest Hermes model, this is fine tuned on Llama 2 13 billion parameter model. This has been fine tuned on 300,000 instructions and uh, the famous names that you see Technium, A Mozilla have led the fine tuning process with Redmond AI sponsoring the compute. And there are a lot of good benchmarks and also the samples that you can try it out. And uh, Honestly, I think newest Hermes is, um, is, is a model that you can definitely trust uh, because it has got diverse data sources. One is from GPT teacher and uh, the general role play code instruct data set and the newest instruct data set. And as far as I know, newest Hermes also supports wide variety of uh, tasks because of the wide variety of data sets that they have used. Now you have got a bunch, bunch of uh, benchmarks that are available. So if you want to check how this model is doing, but uh, to my surprise, this model is not at the top of um, the leaderboard, which was quite surprising for me, given that how much I respect newest Hermes. But again, that's what it is. The next one is the Redmond Puffin 13 billion parameter model. This model somehow claims to be the first commercially available language model released by newest research. This is a Redmond Puffin 13 billion parameter model V1.3. And uh, this is the world's first Llama 2 based fine tuned language models. And how is it fine tuned? This has been fine tuned on a 3000 high quality examples that are hand tuned or, you know, hand curated that takes full advantages of the 4k context length of Llama 2. So if you want like longer context length, this is a model probably you should pay attention to. The, the contributions are from uh, newest research with the data set contributions from J Sufa and also Redmond AI has sponsored. And uh, if you see this model training process, like I said, this is a 3000 carefully curated GPT-4 examples. Once again, this GPT-4 example is not an automated example. This 
is really long context conversation between a real human being and GPT-4 that makes it really healthy and quality data set. And also it has got carefully curated subsections from physics, chemistry, biology, and math. So for example, if you want to build a chatbot model that should uh, focus on education, probably this is the model that you should be using. And if you are worried about this question, hey, this is a research company, newest research, and they've released two different models based on Llama 2. Which one should I use? So when should I use Puffin or Hermes 2? And they've got the answer for you. So both Puffin and Hermes 2 beat the state of the art GPT for all benchmarks with Hermes winning by 0.1% margin over Puffin. So Hermes is trained purely on single instruction examples. Puffin is trained on multiple in multi-turn and a long context, highly curated, cleaned GPT for conversation with real human beings. And also it has got physics, bio, math, chemistry, all these examples. So if you want versatility, I would definitely go with Puffin. But if you want robustness, uh, you can probably go with Hermes too. And that's something that you can see. And you have got a bunch of examples that you can try it out. And you can see some features of this model particularly. And the next one that I wanted to highlight is Wizard LM. Wizard LM has become one of the name uh, biggest names in the open source model or open weight model community, primarily because of one of the techniques that they use to build the data set that is called evil instruct data set building technique. Uh, so instead of hand curated data set, they use a technique called evil instruct. And that's one of the one of their secret sources of building a really quality model. And this model wizard LM 13 billion parameter V 1.2 is a model that is trained from Llama to 13 billion parameter model. And you've got a bunch of benchmarks that talks about how this model is raking. And if you go to the open source, um, the leaderboard of Hugging Face, you again wouldn't see this model really rating at the top. You can see the model somewhere at the bottom, but uh, you don't see the model at the top. So that's something that you need to keep in mind. And always never just, you know, just go by the benchmarks. Um, at this point, I, I honestly do not know if these models are being optimized for benchmarks or these models are being optimized for reasoning and quality. So anyways, you have got another model that is Wizard LM and you can see what kind of data set that they've used. And um, looking at the benchmarks, it seems like it is a good model. And uh, this is a model that is worth trying out giving Wizard LM already has got a name in the market. The next one is the Luna AI's Llama 2 uncensored model. So what makes it uncensored is because it is based on the chat model fine tuned over 40,000 long form chat discussions. So these 40,000 long form chat discussions make this model an uncensored model. And for you, the good thing is you have already got the bloke, the blokes GPU and CPU inference, GGML and GG, GPTQ versions which is four bit quantized version. So if you want to build a chat system, um, probably this is a model that sh you should use. But there were certain complaints about this model about how this model is, how it is hallucinating. So if you go see here, so some in a zero shot testing, some German or Polish words are randomly popping up. And it is possible that this model is hallucinating a lot. So and people have also said that this is an awesome model for a chat model. So definitely try it out if you want to have a conversational agent but maybe some guardrails must be required for you to use this model. So this is the Luna AI Llama 2 uncensored model. And the final model who is also the top of the leaderboard in this list, entire list, you can go to the open LLM leaderboard. So the Receability AI Stable Beluga is one of the top, like one, not one of the, like literally the top one here, you can see the average score is 71.4. And you can see all the other scores. It, it has done really a tremendous job in um, most of the scores. Not necessarily in MMLU where you can see the other Llama 2 based models doing better. But overall the average is good for this. So what is this Stable Beluga? Stable Beluga is a Llama 2 70 billion model fine tuned on a Norca style data set. This is a keyword that everybody has been obsessed with on the internet in the AI community. So this uses the Orca style data set. So this is like a combination of the power of Llama 2 plus the power of Orca style data set. And you can see that this model, you, now, now you might know why this model is rating so top at the top of the open source leaderboard. So this has been developed by Stability AI, which is quite confusing because Stability AI has already developed a model called Free Willy and uh, they have released it. But Stability AI is also making sure that they are making use of the Llama 2 model. So I'm I'm quite not very sure like if they are, uh, what, what is the objective here. But anyway, Stable Beluga is trained on our internal, their own Orca style data set. That uh, data set 
is something that I don't think that uh, I'm not sure if they've uh, open sourced it. But also if you see the license that they have used it, the license is a little bit confusing because Llama 2 has a slightly strange license and um, and you can see that I, this doesn't seem like it's an MIT license or a, yeah, it's honestly like a quite a confusing license part, but overall this is completely a new data set and it seems like that Orca style is really giving leverage to this model to rank at the top of open source leaderboard on Hugging Face, um, the open leaderboard contest, uh, not, not the contest, it's a benchmark. So overall, like we have seen a bunch of models uh, that are Llama 2 based models, uh, Aeroboros, the newest researchers, newest Hermes Llama 2, the newest researchers, Redmond Puffin, the Wizard LM and the Luna uh, uncensored model and then finally the stable Beluga 2 model. I would like for you to try it out and then let me know in the comment section what do you feel about this if you think that there is something that I missed. For example, if you see the open leaderboard, I literally missed the the Llama 2 uh, that is fine tuned on the Guanaco and I missed the Alpaca one. So these models are still uh, ranking at the top of the leaderboard, but I don't know how good they are. Like if you have any thoughts around it, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope this video was helpful to you in understanding the Llama 2 ecosystem and the family of Llama 2 models that we have got. See you in another video. Happy prompting.